In today's Madden 21 video, I'm going to be breaking down a simple play that you can utilize from our New England Patriots guide. Uh, and this play is going to be just simply getting positive yardage against the defense. Now, for those of you that have never been to my channel before, my name is Cody, and I want to thank you for watching today's video. And my channel is all about helping you take your Madden game to the next level in Madden NFL 21. And so if that's something that interests you, I want to encourage you to go ahead and click the subscribe button at the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. Now, uh, for those of you that don't know, I've just recently released my New England Patriots Offensive Guide. Now, if you want to pick it up, you can pick it up by clicking the link in the description. There's a link to the guide in the description. But what I wanted to do today was I wanted to give you kind of a little sneak peek, a little sample, um, and, and talk a little bit about this trips tight end. Now, trips tight end, in my opinion, is the best one of the best formations in Madden 21. It might be the most dominating formation in Madden 21. And what that formation forces your opponent to do is it forces him to oftentimes put his curl flats at 25 or 20 yards at uh, zone drops. And so what that basically allows you to do is it opens up underneath passing, it opens up a lot of different things for your offense. And so what I wanted to do today is I wanted to show you this little play that I use out of the trips tight end that beats every coverage. It's very simple and most people don't really use this play, but I think this play is actually very effective and it's called drive post. Um, now what you'll notice in the play art here is the concept is levels. Now if you know anything about me and my passing um, um, strategy, I love the levels concept. And so we're going to break this down from trips now. We broke it down from U trips yesterday and I want to give you kind of a glimpse into how this concept can really work well for you. Uh, and basically all we're going to do with Shepard is we're just going to motion him to the right and put him on a simple streak. And on the back side I like to take the back and just put him on a block and release. So this is basically the route combination that you're going to have on your field. Now, if it's man-to-man -man coverage, you're always going to get inside position on this little in route. That's why it's so effective. It's resemblant of a China route, which is the same route that Peyton Manning used um, when he was running his offense with the Colts at a very, very high level in the early 2000s, utilizing this simple little in route from that, from that uh, far left side receiver. And so you'll see here, if they run man-to-man -man coverage, whether it's shaded coverage outside, shaded coverage over top, or it's shaded coverage down, it doesn't really matter. You're going to have openings. So real quick, uh, I want to show you shaded coverage up. And basically, man coverage, you've got two or three reads uh, that you're really going to want to hit. But what you'll see is this route to Devontae Adams is going to always be open. What's also really nice is the timing and the window at which it comes open and oftentimes will come open um it oftentimes will come open really really fast and so it's very difficult for the opponent to be able to get their user out in that side of the field now as a general rule you want to run your trips to the wide side of the field so if you're on the left hash all you gotta do is flip everything that i'm telling you and you'll be very effective now, as far as other reads against man-to-man -man coverage uh what you're going to be able to do is you're going to be able to hit both this corner route and this post route. Now with the corner route, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to low ball this right on the cut. Okay, Make sure that you throw this right on the cut so that it gets the best separation uh, possible against your opponent. So let me just show you this simple out or corner route. And what you'll see here is a, is a low pass and a pass lead to the right side of the field, and you're going to be able to beat man-to-man -man coverage with that corner route. Now obviously your streak or your fade to Shepard is not going to get – uh, any major separation against man-to-man -man coverage, but if you knew they were in man-to-man -man coverage, you could potentially put him on a slant or even a, a little zig route, motion ro motion over whip route uh, to be able to beat man-to-man -man coverage. But one of the main things that I really like about this play is, let's say their user jets out to cover Devontae Adams. So what you're going to be able to do is this route right over the middle of the field is going to be isolated one-on-one, -on -one, and it's a nice little read. As you can see, it's very consistent separation against a lot of different man-to-man -man coverages, whether they're shaded coverage outside and over top, whether they're shaded coverage down and inside. It doesn't really matter uh, what the defense does as far as shading goes. This post route is always going to get that quick little separation to the inside right there, and you're going to be able to hit that over the middle for consistent yardage. So when they run man-to-man -man coverage, even if they start to drop their zones and stuff like that, you're going to be able to hit that post route, and you're also going to be able to, able to hit the dig route. The one thing I wanted to show you about this in route is how far – you see it does keep coming open over the cross the middle of the field. So it's going to be able to essentially drag across the underneath middle and be a consistent read against man. Now what I want to do is I want to show you this read uh, against zone coverage. Now if you're interested in getting the New England Patriots ebook, all you have to do to pick it up is, again, you just have to click the link in the description. 
But if you want to get a sample formation, if you want to get a whole formation broken down over an hour of content uh, from the ebook, we're giving away for free. All you have to do is text me. My number is 812 216 Three six four four. Just shoot me a text message. Let me know you'd like to receive the sample formation from the New England Patriots guide, and I'll shoot you back with that sample uh, formation. So literally, all you gotta do is just shoot me a text and let me know you'd like to receive it. Now, if they run cover two defense, one of the things I want to show you here is on this back side, on this left side, you'll see that they kind of leave him. They kind of leave this route to Devontae Adams open. I mean, they basically leave it wide open, and it's primarily because of that first step that Devontae Adams is going to take. Whenever he takes his first step, meaning his first step is going to be out and up, it's going to almost tell the vertical hook that he is supposed to guard that interior guy. And so what you'll see is that vert hook will always be shaded. He'll always be pulled up over with that post route every single time. It doesn't matter what coverage they're in unless they are spot dropping their zone coverages, right? As long as they're not spot dropping their zone coverages, that's going to be consistent. You're going to be able to hit Devontae Adams every single time. Now, what about cover three, you might ask? Well, basically, all you're going to have to do here is just wait for him to pass that flat. Now, you will see that if they hard flat out of a cover three shell, it is a little bit of a difficult throw for you to be able to just snap and throw the ball to um, to, 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 to simply snap and throw the ball to Devontae Adams. Let me show you what I'm talking about right here. And this concept was never really designed to beat cover three, but as you can see here, if you wait just a split second, he's going to get inside of that flat zone, that hard flat, and you're going to be able to hit that route uh, against the cover three. Now, as far as cover four goes, um, it's pretty much the same thing. There's nothing really different um, because you're dealing with the hard flat coming from the slot corner. What you'll notice here is you can actually, if it's a, again, if it's a purple zone and not a yellow zone, meaning if it's if it's not a hard flat zone, you're going to be able to hit it every day of the week, all day, and you're going to be very very consistent again against it. Now, uh, I want to show you cloud flats versus curl flats. So this is cover three cloud flats on the left side. And what you'll see is those cloud flats will do a good job of kind of holding it, but they're going to hold the snap throw, but you're still going to be able to throw it. Now, uh, the next route that I want to show you on this play is I want to show you this route to uh, your, your, your post route. I want to show you this route to Taylor. And this route will typically be open pretty much against every single defense at one point or another. As you can see right there against that cover two, it's going to kind of sit down right in the middle of that zone um, and be able to be easily pass led open. Now against the cover three, and again, you're going to get a lot of hard flats. You're going to get a lot of underneath coverage because you're going to be working that in route so much. Well, if you see that that dig route is taken over, then just hit this post route right over the top of it. As you can see, these yellow zones are going to come down. They're going to come down anyways because there's no real, you know, there's no real route that they need to guard. And so he's crossing into the zone, which is going to give him a big time advantage. As you can see here, he's just going to loop around. Now, as you can see right here, against cover three, you can pass lead him up, especially if you have a gunslinger quarterback. That is going to be very, very consistent um, as far as separation goes. Now, I wanted to show you cover four, and I want to do cover four specifically, um, not even using hard flats, just using cloud flats. And what you'll see on this play is the same thing is going to be true. You're going to be able to basically pass lead this thing open against that cover four zone. Now, in my opinion, you have to account for their user, and you have to understand that the cool part about this route to Devontae Adams is it's a multi-window route. You can hit this thing at multiple points. It's not just a one, you know, you can hit it to snap and go, but you can wait on this to develop. And what you'll see is once that post runs all the zones off, you can easily check down to that little route to Devontae Adams um, pretty much against every coverage in the game. Now, the next thing I want to show you is, and what's something you'll see a lot of, is they're going to basically pull resources from the right to begin to cover the left side. But you're running a basic flood on the right side, and what's going to happen here is this is going to be a simple flood. It's simply a high-low read um, to the right side. And I don't really work the right side very much, to be honest with you. I'm about 99% of the time able to sit and work that left side of the field. Um, but if they're not playing hard flats, you can hit that running back right as he shoots out of the backfield. I really like the block and release route, especially for this formation and for this specific play because of what they're likely to be doing now you're going to, and that what that's going to do is it's going to force them to play these hard flats now if they're playing hard flats you'll see that this corner route to the tight end is going to come wide open against the cover three it's going to come wide open against the cover four and so on and so forth now one of the things i want to show you here is if they're playing cloud flats 
what you'll notice is this back is going to take a sweet little time getting to the flat. And so because of that, it's going to give time for those cloud flats to basically run off and for you to be able to hit your running back check down route, um, essentially against any zone coverage that they're going to employ. So this means that what they're going to have to do is they're going to have to run some type of Mabel coverage to the right side of the field. The reason that this is so powerful is because it's opening up more space and more, uh, more opportunity uh, for that middle side of the field. Obviously against Mabel coverage, if there's no yellow zone or if they're not paying attention to that tight end, you can easily hit that tight end for a simple gain against, against the cover three. Uh, what I mean by that is, again, against Mabel coverage, because you have that streak route, they have to Mabel. They can't necessarily just take a safety away, right? So you can easily hit that little low ball right to that little corner route right on the cut against Mabel coverage. And so there's a lot of opportunity with this play. I think this is one of the best base plays uh, to use from trips tight end. One of the things you have to remember when you're running trips tight end, and especially when you're running offense in Madden 21, um, you're not always going to get the one play touchdown. But if you could be super, super consistent – against every single defense, it's going to very much so matter in terms of your success on the offensive side of the ball. So make sure that you get good at this play um, if you're running the New England Patriots ebook. Now, uh, maybe you like the formation breakdown and you like all that stuff, but you don't like the New England Patriots guide and you want something different, right? Well, if you want the guide, you can pick it up in the description, but if you don't want the guide, one of the things I do want to highlight really quickly is our text message membership. Every single week, we send videos to our to our text message members that are basically high level schemes from different types of playbooks. So, for example, we've broken down the Minnesota Vikings playbook. We've broken down the Carolina playbook. We've broken down the Arizona Cardinals playbook. We've broken down all kinds of different formations and power plays um, from different formation or from different playbooks in this in this text message membership. And so, if you're interested in joining the text message membership, it's completely free to join. Literally, all you have to do is just shoot me a text message and let me know you'd like to receive it that's it i'll send you a link with the playlist and you can get all of the videos it also has defensive tips as well so it's not just offense we break down the big nickel over g defense we break down how to stop every single run in madden 21 and we also break down some really nice little pass coverage schemes that you can use from any defense in madden 21 so if that's something that interests you go ahead and shoot me a text message and let me know you'd like to receive those videos other than that guys our next video is going to be live at four o'clock p.m eastern time today and I will be live streaming with this New England Patriots ebook. If you want to catch the stream, I stream every single night at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time right here on my YouTube channel. Um, if you want to stay notified uh, whenever we go live, all you got to do is join our Discord. The link to join the Discord is in the description. And also, Discord is a great place for you to be able to connect and talk Madden 24-7, not just with me, but with my entire Madden community. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Like I said, we'll have another video that's going to go live at 4 o'clock p.m. Eastern time this afternoon, and we'll have more content for you as the day goes on. Thank you so much for your time. Make sure if you haven't already, go ahead and click that subscribe button, and we'll see you on tonight's live stream at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time.